Even as a girl, Kirti Kamal was a whiz at baking and pastry making, so she decided to turn her passion into a paying proposition. This involved some intensive study and preparation, during which she mastered the art of French patisserie, among other culinary arts. As an established chef, she loves creating a fusion of East and West in her cooking, and the proof lies in the flavours of this week's Mela menu. Karishma had been lured by the promise of sugarcane and strawberries. I've just landed in gorgeous Durban. It's a beautiful day and I'm so excited because chef and foodie Kirti Kamal invited me to go strawberry picking with her. It's something I've always wanted to do so I can't wait to get started. Karishma spotted her hosts among the rows of thriving strawberry bushes where she was selecting the pick of the crop. Hi Kirti, so lovely to see you again. Hi Karishma, it's wonderful to see you again as well. It's so beautiful here. These strawberries are growing quite a unique system, hydroponics. And as you can see, this farm is in KZN, so it's so unique for us and it's right on our doorstep. And these are so delicious, so let's get picking. Fantastic, let's do it. Hydroponic cultivation involves growing plants without soil using mineral nutrients dissolved in water and delivering high-quality produce. Bengali agriculturalists played a pioneering role. Kirti, we've got our beautiful strawberries here. Tell me, what are we going to make today? So, we're starting off with a really simple bulgur wheat salad. And I've got some cooked bulgur wheat here already. Okay. Right. And then I've got some rocket and some lettuce leaves. And I'm also adding in some pea shoots. And maybe you could just try a taste. It's quite unique, a uh, distinctive taste. And these have become quite popular to use in salads and on garnishes for more savory and main dishes. Um, Got an interesting, like a sweet flavour, like a sweet pea. Yes, exactly. That's just it. So it's lovely. And I'm going to add in some tomatoes and some ribbons of cucumber. Karishma, if you could slice me some strawberries, that would be fantastic. And we can put those on top. And then I'm going to add in some parsley and some chives. And this is just really for flavour. You need uh, fresh herbs to bring in lots of flavour into this. It's quite a simple dressing. And then I'm going to start with balsamic vinegar, which everybody knows goes so well with strawberries. And you wouldn't think that it does, but it really does. Yes, no, it does. I think it's, it's the two different types of acidity. And also it's the sweetness from the strawberries that go so well with the balsamic. So we're going to add in a little bit of honey for some sweetness. And that just breaks up the acidity from the tomatoes and the strawberries. And really, this is, this is all about taste. So after you've tossed the salad, if you find that you want to add in more salt, more pepper, a little bit more balsamic or olive oil, you can go right ahead. So I'm going to add in a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Not too much because we're bringing in the feta, so that's going to add saltness as well. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to toss this lightly. And then we're going to add it onto our platter. So this is our final lot of bulgur wheat that we're adding on. And then we're just going to pop on our sliced strawberries. Perfect. And then I'm going to add on pieces of feta. And I like keeping these pieces quite nice and big and chunky. So I'm just finishing it off with some macadamia nuts and that's, that adds a lovely crunch to the salad. You could also use some seeds. Definitely, uh, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. We're just going to top it with some edible flowers just to finish it off, make it look quite pretty. Is that it? All done. I'm going to set it aside here. Perfect. Kirsty, what's our next dish? So this is quite an unusual chicken dish in that we are adding in these lovely strawberries in a savory drizzle. But it's quite a simple technique to start off with. So to start off with, I'm gonna add in some olive oil to a hot pan, about three tablespoons. Karishma, if you could pass me some leeks. So we're gonna add most of it in. I think leeks are a lovely alternative to using red onions and the normal white onion. Okay. And we're just gonna saute this for a little while. Can we add in about two teaspoons of garlic? Sure. If you could pass me our chicken breast. And what I've done is I've just sliced them down the middle so they're quite thin. OK. 
Okay. And they cook quite fast. That's a beautiful sound right it there. It is. There we go. Perfect. So that's done. We're going to season this chicken a little bit. So if you can just add in some salt and then a little bit of pepper. I'm just going to give the chicken a turn. We just want to cook this nicely, but still keep it quite moist. How long would we let this cook on each side for? I think about four to five minutes. It really depends on the kind of chicken that you're using and also the actual size of the chicken breast. Obviously, the thicker it is, the longer it takes to cook. We just want it to cook through. We don't need it to brown a bit too much because we're going to be adding on that lovely red, luscious strawberry drizzle. Oh, lovely. So this is now ready for us to actually plate up. So what's next? We need strawberry pureed. There's about five to six strawberries, so not a lot. We'll put about two teaspoons of the honey in. If you could pass me the ginger, please. We're not gonna put all of that, just about half of it. And some of the chili, please, just a little bit. It just adds a little bite, but it's not overpowering. Perfect. And next, just a little bit of cinnamon, about less than half a teaspoon. It's good. It smells so beautiful. Doesn't the aroma remind you of childhood? Oh, absolutely. And last, we're gonna add in some lemon zest. Just about a teaspoon. So now we're gonna drizzle on this lovely, luscious red strawberry drizzle. Oh, that smells beautiful. So now we're gonna finish off with some fresh basil and some sesame seeds. So just tear that up into nice pieces and pop that on. So we're gonna finish off with some vibrant micro herbs and we're using beetroot today. Karishma, this is done. Now next for our favorite part, dessert. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna put this away. So we're gonna be making a cardamom and orange shortbread and it's gonna be filled with macerated strawberries and also a white chocolate mascarpone mousse. If you could pass me the cream, I'm just gonna switch the stove on. And we're gonna pop that in the pot. All of it? Yep, all of it. And next, we're gonna add in our really good quality white chocolate. Oh, so delicious. And I'm just gonna switch off the stove so that we don't burn our chocolate. And I'm just gonna mix this slightly. Just let the heat disperse evenly and it will begin to melt the white chocolate. Karishma, if you can pass me the whisk. Sure. I'm just gonna whisk this till it's nice and smooth. Now that this is smooth, we're just gonna transfer it into this glass bowl. So if you can just grab the spatula and just help me out. We wanna get all this lovely white chocolate in. There we go, that's every last drop. Every <laughs> last drop, that's perfect. I'm gonna show you how to get our strawberry filling ready for the shortbread. So we've got some sliced strawberries here and I've just done them in quarters. And we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of sugar. And then next we're gonna add in just a tiny bit of orange juice. And this just helps the strawberries to release their natural juices, which, we're, which is what we're looking for, for the filling for the shortbread. And also, we're just continuing that orange flavor through from the shortbread to the strawberry filling. Perfect. Next, we're gonna mix in our mascarpone into our white chocolate mixture. You can just whisk that for me. So this is now lovely and smooth, and we're gonna pop it in the fridge for about an hour to set up so that we can actually pipe it. Perfect, I'll give that to you. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna just grab some shortbread. And we can just pop that over there. Okay, how many do you need? So we'll start with two. For now, I'm just gonna demonstrate how to assemble one. There we go. So we can pop one of these over here. So now I'm going to fill a piping bag with our white chocolate mousse, um, which we're going to fill inside the shortbread. Look how creamy this has become. It looks beautiful. And we're just going to fill, put some at the bottom first, and then just this just keeps the shortbread stable to the plate. And we're just going to fill the sides of the shortbread with this mousse. You do that so effortlessly, I'm so jealous. No, it's actually quite easy. Why don't you try uh, a bit here? I'm going to mess with it for <laughs> Lovely, see? That's perfect. Not too bad for my first time. So we're just going to add 
a little bit of these lovely macerated strawberries and let that juice fall over. And then we're gonna add our second shortbread on the top. And I've got this lovely little template. I'm gonna add some icing sugar and that's just gonna give us a little design at the top. And we just lift that off. But Karishma, it's not done quite as yet. We've got a few more finishing touches. I'm gonna add on a little dollop of this white chocolate mousse and edible flour. And I'm also gonna add on some edible silver leaf to finish off. Wow, that is really so pretty. I can't wait to try all the delicious things we've prepared today. Fantastic, let's go eat away. Kirti, thank you so much for this beautiful strawberry-inspired feast. I love the fact that we started off this morning at a tranquil farm picking strawberries and now we're in the hustle and bustle in the opposite city about to enjoy this meal. It's always a pleasure having you and the Mela team, so let's eat. 